Antarctica, the southernmost continent, is a place of extremes. It is the coldest, driest, and windiest landmass on Earth, a vast, icy wilderness that covers over 14 million square kilometers. Yet, beneath its layers of ice lies a rich story that spans billions of years, from the ancient formation of its bedrock to the modern scientific endeavors that unlock its secrets. While few people have ever set foot on this remote continent, Antarctica's history is deeply intertwined with the story of our planet and humanity's quest for knowledge. Our journey begins over a billion years ago, in the depths of geological time, when the landmass that would one day become Antarctica was not a frozen wasteland, but part of a dynamic and ever-changing world. Around 1.1 billion years ago, Antarctica's bedrock formed as part of the supercontinent Rodinia. Over hundreds of millions of years, tectonic forces reshaped the Earth, breaking Rodinia apart and creating new landforms. By 500 million years ago, Antarctica was part of another supercontinent, Gondwana, which included present-day Africa, South America, Australia, and India. During the Paleozoic era, around 500 to 250 million years ago, Antarctica experienced a warm climate and was teeming with life. Fossil evidence reveals that ancient seas covered much of the continent, hosting diverse marine life such as trilobites and brachiopods. As Gondwana began to drift and fragment, Antarctica underwent dramatic changes. Around 180 million years ago, during the Jurassic period, the first dinosaurs roamed its forests, which were lush and green, thanks to a much milder climate than today. The breakup of Gondwana marked a turning point for Antarctica. Over millions of years, the continents drifted apart, and Antarctica moved southward toward the pole. By about 34 million years ago, during the late Eocene epoch, Antarctica was fully isolated and began to develop its ice sheet. This event, known as the Eocene-Oligocene boundary, was driven by a combination of tectonic shifts and changes in global climate patterns. The separation of Antarctica from South America opened the Drake Passage, allowing the Antarctic circumpolar current to form. This powerful ocean current isolated Antarctica thermally, leading to the rapid expansion of its ice sheet and transforming the continent into the frozen expanse we know today. While Antarctica's geological and climatic history is fascinating, its human history begins much later. For thousands of years, the existence of a southern continent was purely hypothetical. Ancient Greek philosophers, including Aristotle, speculated about the presence of a terra incognita to balance the known landmasses of the Northern Hemisphere. This idea persisted through the Middle Ages, appearing on maps as Terra Australis Incognita, the unknown southern land. The age of exploration in the 15th and 16th centuries renewed interest in this mysterious southern land. European explorers ventured farther south in search of new trade routes and resources. In 1773, Captain James Cook became the first person to cross the Antarctic Circle during his second voyage aboard the HMS Resolution. Although Cook never sighted the Antarctic mainland, his expeditions proved that any southern continent was likely to be a cold and inhospitable place, surrounded by vast, ice-covered seas. The early 19th century saw the first confirmed sightings of Antarctica. In 1820, three separate expeditions led by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen, Russia, Edward Bransfield, Britain, and Nathaniel Palmer, United States, claimed to have glimpsed the Antarctic mainland or its ice shelves. These sightings sparked further exploration as sealers and whalers ventured into Antarctic waters in search of valuable resources. By the mid-1800s, the region became a hub for sealing and whaling industries which heavily exploited the abundant marine life. The heroic age of Antarctic exploration, spanning from the late 19th century to the early 20th century, marked a new chapter in Antarctica's history. During this period, explorers sought to uncover the secrets of the frozen continent, 
often at great personal risk. One of the first major expeditions was led by Norwegian explorer Karsten Borkgravink, who in 1898 became the first person to overwinter on the Antarctic mainland. His expedition laid the groundwork for future scientific and exploratory endeavors. Perhaps the most iconic figure of this era is Ernest Shackleton, whose expeditions captured the imagination of the world. Shackleton's 1907-1909 Nimrod expedition achieved the first ascent of Mount Erebus and came within 180 kilometers of the South Pole. However, it was his 1914-1917 Endurance expedition that cemented his legacy. When Shackleton's ship, the Endurance, became trapped in pack ice, he and his crew endured unimaginable hardships, surviving against all odds and ultimately escaping to safety. In 1911, the race to the South Pole culminated in one of the most dramatic episodes in Antarctic history. Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen and his team became the first to reach the pole on December 14, 1911, using carefully planned routes and dog sleds. Just weeks later, British explorer Robert Falcon Scott and his team also reached the pole but tragically perished on their return journey. These events highlighted both the triumphs and the perils of Antarctic exploration. The mid-20th century brought significant advancements in Antarctic exploration and research. During the International Geophysical Year, IGY, of 1957 to 1958, Scientists from around the world collaborated to study Antarctica's geology, climate, and biology. The IGY led to the establishment of permanent research stations, including McMurdo Station, United States, and Murney Station, Soviet Union, which continue to serve as hubs for scientific inquiry. In 1959, the Antarctic Treaty was signed, a landmark agreement that designated Antarctica as a zone of peace and scientific cooperation. The treaty prohibits military activity, mineral mining, and nuclear testing while promoting international collaboration in scientific research. To this day, the Antarctic Treaty remains a model for global governance, protecting one of the world's last great wildernesses. Modern Antarctica is a hub of cutting-edge research. Scientists study its ice cores to uncover clues about past climates and predict future changes. The continent's unique ecosystems, such as subglacial lakes and microbial life in extreme environments, provide insights into the potential for life on other planets. Meanwhile, Antarctica's role in global climate systems has become increasingly important as the world grapples with the effects of climate change. Melting ice sheets and rising sea levels pose significant challenges underscoring the need for continued research and conservation. Despite its remoteness, Antarctica has captured the imagination of people around the world. From its early days as a mythical land to its current status as a beacon of scientific discovery and international cooperation, Antarctica's story is one of wonder, resilience, and the enduring human spirit of exploration. Its icy expanse reminds us of the fragility and beauty of our planet, inspiring us to protect and cherish it for generations to come.